Hello, fellow humans, and welcome to the ammo guide of World Tanks Blitz. Now, there are four different types of ammo in World Tanks Blitz. There is AP, that is Heat, that is HE, and that is APCR. Now, some of these ammo types have their special forms, like HE does with Hash, or AP does have with the Japanese tank destroyers, for example, where you have the premium AP. So... In general, they all work the same though, so basically there are four types of ammo. Most tanks use three of them, and there are a couple of combinations. So let's have a look at the combinations, and then let's see what the individual shells do. So let's have a look at the different types of ammo. The most common one is AP, APCR, and HE. Now while AP and APCR generally work the same, there are minor differences, as in normalization, angle, and other. However, they're essentially irrelevant to know in a regular battle scenario, and they're only really relevant in about 0.01% of cases, so you can ignore those for the most part. The main difference between AP and APCR is that APCR generally tends to be a premium round, however it is also available in some forms as a standard round. APCR flies faster than AP, however, it loses more penetration over distance, which means that the longer you fire the APCR, the, more, the less penetration it will have. The same goes for AP. However, while AP is a slower round, it loses less penetration over its distance. Now, another common thing is obviously APCR Heat HE, and uh, again, the works the same here. APCR works as a standard round here with generally really high penetration. Now, heat works differently to AP and APCR because it is not based on penetration by distance. However, it is based by penetration on impact, which means it does always have the same penetration uh, amount. So, 330 here for the Leopard PTA as an example. However, heat, just like HE, has the problem of it bursts on impact. Which means if you fire it at a wall or a fence or a spaced armor rather than real armor, it will burst and not cause any damage. Which means heat should only be used if you have a clear shot at a clear target and you know the enemy does not have a spaced armor or a skirt where you're firing at. Common of that is the I-7 with its sides. Now, you also have HE which works very much like a combination of all of them. You have a flight speed that is generally average. Normally it's lower, however, it really depends on the tank. So I would recommend looking up, if you really want to get into this, um, then look up the specific speed of the shell of your tank that you're playing, because there's a lot of variable in it. Generally, what you can sort of assume is that um, heat, HE, and AP are slower, and APCI is very fast. However, Look, if you, for example, look at the Centurion over here, then the AP shell is faster than uh, a lot of other shells or has the same speed as the APCR shell here. So, essentially, the speeds in Blitz are completely all over the place, and I will definitely recommend you check them out yourself. HE, again, works like heat, as in it bursts on impact, which means if you fire it at a wall or a spaced armor, it will burst and not cause any damage. However, it will still splash. Now, they also have special types of ammunition. That is Hesh and Premium AP. They were exactly the same as HE and um, AP while having higher penetration. So to demonstrate this again, we'll use the E50M as a perfect example because it has a bit of everything. For example, the rear is 83mm thick, which means with an HE round, you will be able to penetrate this relatively easily if your HE round has that penetration of over 100 millimeters and you can also have the hatch here which only has 80 so you can do that sometimes the side of the turret can also be penetrated with he right there however if you use he on the lower part or the tracks of a vehicle then it will not do any damage or it will do very little damage and in the case of heat it will do no damage at all if you fire it into tracks or other outside objects like for example the optics if you fire he or heat into the optics or the gun, it will most likely not do a lot of damage. And that is not very good. AP shells will go straight through it, however, obviously they lose penetration by penetrating this screen, which means 5mm screen, AP shell loses 5mm penetration while it goes into the main armor. Angled armor is also something very interesting, obviously, because it has to penetrate more thickness than the plate is actually thick, because, you know, angle. So, Math, school, those things. Now, AP, APCR, and heat 
will penetrate based on the actual thickness that it's currently facing, which in this case is 338 millimeters, while the plate is 168 millimeters thick. However, the round will have to penetrate 338 millimeters, which means AP, APCL, and heat will go through. However, if the plate is at an extreme angle, for example, like this, then AP and APCR might ricochet because at certain about 85 degrees of angle, there will ricochet unless you're firing a 91 millimeter round at a 30 millimeter plate of armor. If the shell is three times as much in caliber as the armor in thickness, it will attempt penetration at any angle. Heat will always attempt penetration. However, if it doesn't manage it, it will not cause any damage. Same with HE. It will also always attempt penetration. If it doesn't fully penetrate, it will cause splash damage based on how far it has gotten into the armor. So here we go with the 2 and 5B, which has AP, APCR, and HE. However, it functions as HESH because it has 170 millimeters of penetration. So the difference between HE and HESH, there isn't any. It's the same shell in Blitz, just called differently because some tanks use the British um, HESH round, but they work the exact same. Some German tanks also use HEP rounds, high explosive plastic. So, but they also always work the same as HE, as in they penetrate based on on um, the armor thickness and splash if they can't penetrate. Now, for example, something like this, you do not want to shoot HE at, like a fence or anything of the sort. You do not want to fire HE or heat at because they will get stuck in it. And that is obviously not great. You want to be able to penetrate a target. So if you have AP or APCR available to have to shoot through a wall, you have to use those shells because the heat round a HE round is not going to pen those at all. Now, ideally, most tanks have AP rounds. AP rounds are very straightforward. If you look at the enemy and the enemy is red, you can't pen. If the enemy is gray, then you can pen. That is very easy, and I would definitely recommend checking that out. Now, how do you use HE? It's very simple. You have this yellow marker right there that tells you yellow means it will splash, which means it will not penetrate. If the tank is gray, well, it's or is natural camo color, then the HE will be able to penetrate. And the best way to find that out is to just try it. You know, switch to HE. Okay, it's yellow, I can't pen. Switch back to AP and then use AP. That's the easiest way to figure out how to use it because obviously there are a lot of different tanks and going through every single one, which you can pen with HE, which you can't pen with HE, that would take quite a while. So the best way is aim at the enemy, figure it out. Look, can't pen that and then boom. Now, if you are struggling to pen with your standard ammo, which is either AP or APCR, you can switch to your premium ammo, and then boom, you will do less damage with that premium ammunition. However, you will be able to penetrate a lot easier. And uh, basically, it's all about finding out what pens and what doesn't. Ideally, you want to use AP. Generally, light tanks, rears or sides of vehicles are is where you can penetrate with HE the easiest. You see, I switched to HE, penetrated with HE. I see that it's uh, not yellow, and I pen it with HE. And that's how easy HE is to use. So there's, there's nothing really special about the types of ammo. It's just about learning a bit of how they work. And that there is no real um, amazing thing about it. Basically, again, to sum up, AP is standard and boring. It penetrates object. It loses penetration over distance. So does APCR. It also loses penetration while penetrating objects. Um, HE and heat do not penetrate through objects. However, heat tends to have higher penetration and does not lose penetration over distance. And HE has the ability to splash its targets, but it will not bounce. AP and APCR can bounce off and uh, go somewhere else. However, heat and a HE will always penetrate or attempt penetration. Heat will only do damage if it actually penetrates. He, HE can do splash damage as well. That's pretty much how ammo works in World of Tanks Blitz. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.